Hi, thanks for joining me for this edition of the Bell Performance video blog. I am Eric Bjornstedt with Bell Performance. Uh, today, we're talking about diesel engines. Specifically, we're talking about something that even if you're not a diesel fuel fleet professional, even if you're just a normal driver and you drive on the highway and you're older than 16 years old, you are probably well familiar with the sight of a diesel big rig on the highway with black smoke belching out of those stacks, the twin stacks. Um, that's kind of one of the iconic, and I'll say unfortunately, it's kind of one of the iconic uh, symbols on the American highway, the diesel truck with the black smoke coming out of its pipes. Um, what does that black smoke mean? And, uh, you know, what what should be done about it, if anything? Well, uh, we want to do a little uh, a little talk today about not just black smoke, but there's actually three kinds of smoke that are typical to a diesel engine, and each one of them uh, signifies a different kind of problem. Okay, the black smoke. Um, all that really means is that there's an imbalance between the fuel and the air uh, mixture in that uh, engine. Um, all engines are designed to run up run optimally on a balanced mixture of fuel mixed with air. Uh, but if something happens, if there's a mechanical fault in that engine and you, uh, you don't get enough air that's supplied in order to completely combust all of the fuel in that area, then that fuel is not going to burn completely. It's going to burn imperfectly and incompletely. And what you've got left is essentially, um, for lack of a better way to put it, it's soot. Soot being unburned fuel particles, and that's what's coming out of those stacks. So when you see black smoke coming out of there, uh, what kind of problems, could, mechanical problems, could that indicate? Well, you could have bad injectors, or you could have injector um, injector deposits, because injectors control how finely and how well that fuel is injected uh, into the combustion chamber or uh, into the common rail for some diesel engines. Um, you could have a faulty injector pump. You could have a bad air filter. A bad air filter will restrict the amount of air being supplied to that fuel, make it a rich fuel mixture, which means too much fuel relative to uh, uh, relative to the amount of air being supplied, right? Or it could be a bad EGR valve. Um, what about white smoke? White smoke obviously looks different from black smoke. Uh, white smoke means that the fuel that's being injected into the uh, combustion chamber is not being burned properly. Now this is a little bit different nuance than the black smoke. Neither one of those is, is optimal, but the white smoke's a little bit more specific. It's saying that when that fuel is injected into the combustion chamber, something else is causing it uh, not to be burned properly. And in this case, it could be something like the compression ratio uh, of, that, um, uh, of that cylinder. Uh, you know, engines, whether gasoline or diesel, are designed to run on a certain compression ratio. Compression ratio being the ratio of the space left when the piston's at the top versus at the bottom. A higher compression ratio means the piston, uh, well, there's more space when the piston is down compared to up relative to something with low compression ratio. You have to have the right compression ratio in order to make everything happen uh, at the right time. Uh, if you have something like something that's caused it to have low compression, um, then you're gonna that fuel's not gonna be burned as well as it as it could be, and you're probably gonna get white smoke that's gonna gonna, gonna emerge. Uh, you can also get it if you have water in the fuel. Um, you could get it if your fuel pump is bad, and anything that basically throws off the timing could result in white diesel smoke. Now, there's a third kind, and that's blue diesel smoke. Now, me personally, I don't necessarily remember ever seeing blue diesel smoke, but I am told that it is out there. And what does it mean when you see blue smoke out there on the highway? Well, what that is, is it's burning engine oil, which is never good, because engine oil is not supposed to get into areas where it can be burned. And so, therefore, if you're burning it and you're not supposed to be, that means there is a mechanical problem. What kind of mechanical problems might you be able to have? Well, you could have a faulty injector pump, faulty uh, lift pump, which I, I personally don't know exactly what that is, but our ASC certified master mechanic, James Dunst, can tell you all about that. 
Um, you could have worn cylinders, worn piston rings, uh, you could have bad valves or valve stem seals, those could be bad. Anything like that could result in the, um, uh, uh, the, the oil that's supposed to be separate uh, leaking its way into the combustion chamber where it's hot enough for it to undergo combustion and be burned. When that happens, you can get blue diesel smoke. So anyway, that's just a little primer on w what causes all, all, all this kind of smoke that you may see uh, driving down the highway with that diesel big rig. Now, one last thing to be said, we have talked about the issue of diesel particulate filters. Okay, um, Diesel particulate filters are now becoming standard issue on diesel trucks, and diesel particulate filters will actually trap a lot of the particulates that um, uh, uh, come out of these, these stacks. So the days of seeing a diesel big rig driving down the road with black smoke coming out of its uh, uh, twin stacks there may actually be coming to an end sooner than you think. Uh, thanks for joining me today. I am Eric Bjornstad with Bell Performance. Um, if you like this information, we have this and plenty more where this came from on uh, our uh, two websites that we have. We have our regular website, www.bellperformance.com. We also have our educational website for consumers and professionals located at www.wefixfuel.com. So anyway, we invite you to go check out both of those. Thanks for joining me. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.